miles have been completed and a black cloud for the two leaders is beginning to descend in the form of a rainbow already for Ward Burton the rainbow has struck him Gordon is into second and now he's after Earnhardt in the number three for the lead there you see the interval between those front three that's the trio setting the pace here in the 25th annual Pennsylvania 500 at Pocono this afternoon turned into an outstanding race in the last 25 miles they have really put on a show worth every penny of it earlier this season Earnhardt drove to that checkered flag at Daytona but that has been his only victory in the last 76 races how's he handling that they situation want to pick something out to say well, what's wrong or what's this or what's that and it didn't bother me uh, we've got a great race team uh, I can still win races and win championships we're not out of it We've uh, got off track a little bit. We're getting back on track. I'm telling you, Winston Cup racing has gotten more and more competitive, and people don't believe that to a point. Somebody just winning in 94, uh, 95, 96, 97. It really got turned up the heat in 96 and 7. It's, it's just more competitive now than it has ever been. And, of course, I think the multi-car teams has, has enhanced that. The learning curve, the, the the things you can learn, the things we've, we've come up with and the shock packages and spring packages and things that we're racing now, we never used to race it. At 47 years of age, Dale Earnhardt, the 71-time winner, the seven-time Winston Cup champion, the Daytona 500 champion this year. And when it gets to talking about competition, you can see the excitement in his face. Brother to brother right here. The Burton brothers are fighting it out right now for third spot. And the car right in front of Earnhardt is Darrell Waltrip. That's the car he owns. I wonder who the father's cheering for today. <laughs> you know, his dad built those cars up the, at South Boston. Yeah. That's where they raced uh, in the Grand National ranks last night, right? Tim Fidewa got the victory. What a great shot there. Dale Jarrett moving by Ward Burton, or Jeff Burton, going in the tunnel turn there, trying to reel in the other brother now. Dale Jarrett has picked up the pace quite a bit in the 88 Ford. At 22 is third. Dale Jarrett in the 88, in fourth. You know, that race stabilized for a while. It was just a good race. And then all of a sudden, there was that moment when those pyrotechnics went off and you saw all that great passing and a lot of it was created because Marlon and Elliot and Waltrip on the oh, we, there's your move here comes Gordon one more time They're trying to work their way through those lap cars Gordon Darrell Waltrip looking back here as that leader pulls up but he's on the tail end of the lead lap Waltrip in the Pennzoil car here's Earnhardt that's his team car that he's muscling right there oh you can see right there. Close the door on Jeff Gordon. Yes, it is the team car, is it not? Now, but look at here comes Waltrip back. Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid right now they got the uh, three car of Earnhardt on the outside there. Jeff Gordon will get a great run off this corner on both these cars. That's going to be something if those two duck themselves up into the wall. <laughs> yeah, Daryl's going to no, pull over. Daryl let him go by. Yep. Last run in that number one car for Darrell Waltrip, and what a great adventure it has been. Here comes Gordon. He's looking to the inside again as they head into turn one. Bernhardt comes up just a bit. And that may be enough for Gordon to sneak through on the bottom. A couple of Chevys duking it out here on that second straightaway. Oh. Inching along up comes Jeff Gordon. Look at Darrell walked up sideways there. He had to get out of the throttle. He lost a lot of momentum coming out of the turn three there. And you see the Pontiac number 22 weave right back into this picture another time. Ward Burton, who set on the pole for this race, is there. These are the top five. Earnhardt just inches off the back. Oh, oh, oh. there's contact. Trouble. Gordon in trouble, just lost a whole bunch of spots. Earnhardt got in the back of 24, Jeff Gordon there going into the corner. Slight contact, just enough to get him offline. Well, I think he must be taking a very deep breath right now, but he keeps fading back. Yeah. Earnhardt is staying up with it. It may be that something happened to that car, and, and Earnhardt had to run into him because all of a sudden it seemed to come down a little. Picking up the pace again, but for a moment, Ken, when you back out the throttle, you lose a lot of time. You see him back up to speed going along with Mark Martin right now. I think when somebody gets directly under him, he gets a little bit loose. Martin 
is in that uh, seventh position now. And Gordon falls to eighth in this group. Let's take a look at that contact again. Learnhardt is the master at getting very, very close without contact. Let's see right there. Yes, he does make contact. You can see the 24 get just a little bit sideways. Earnhardt up there with him. They both go offline. <laughs> now we understand that the radio, it's a little hot out of Gordon's number 24 right now. The communication is in very short, intense sentences. Jeff Burton. Dale Jarrett said that's just fine with us, so thank you first and second. Yeah, you've got Ward Burton who's setting the pole back in front. Jarrett has come into second spot. And Jeff Burton is in third. And all those Burton kids who used to bang around at South Boston and put each other in the fence, they're up there. Two out of the three top spots, Dick Bergen. Now, wasn't it Earnhardt's kid who last night was set down in the Bush Grand National Race for using his front bumper? Something like that. I think so. I'm yes. sure it was him. Yeah. yeah. Joe Bessie was the <laughs> other end of that one. Both of them got in the corner there. I'm not taking up by the run, but let me just tell you, a lot of times you get in the corner that close, and if you barely touch, you can't get off of it because the other guy's trying to get control, and you start weaving, and you cannot get off the car if you touch. Well, he definitely had slowed down a good bit. Okay. You could see that because of the way uh, Burton was able to shoot by on the bottom in that number 22 car once it all got started. Well, there's 138 laps that have now been completed of this 200-lap race. So there's a long time for Jeff Gordon to get it all gathered back up again. 62 laps to go. Here you see Earnhardt. And there's Mayfield's number 12. You tail ender in all of this now? Boy, I tell you, he just no, he's okay flying there. around here. He's in that group. Yeah, Mayfield's Strong. fifth right now. Earnhardt's fourth. I think you may see Gordon right in there behind him. Gordon is making his way back toward Four, the front six. right now. This will be interesting when they get back together again. <laughs> Steve Burns. Guys, you were talking about Dale Earnhardt's determination, his fire, desire. Let's talk about his experience, his knowledge. Yesterday in happy hour, Dale Earnhardt correctly predicted that this track would loosen up, that it would get a little slick with some hotter temperatures. So he left his car a little bit on the tight side. That's a lot of bad experience and knowledge. Let's go to Randy Pemberton. Rare Van Halen and Jeff Gordon have certainly been on the radio before the last pass and uh, since then. And Jeff Gordon, uh, Ray told Jeff to take your time before that. Pick and choose your spots. Don't abuse the right front. Now the car was pushing when he was up behind Earnhardt, so he decided to go ahead and make his move go by. We saw what happened after that. Ray has since come over the radio and said, look, take your time. There's a lot of laps left. we got to make another pit stop. We'll get this thing. As you look at that trio, Jeremy Mayfield is going to play the role of cool hand Luke you got a couple of multi-millionaires you can throw the money away right now Jeff Gordon's got fire in his eye has been heard on the radio and he's on a charge he's trying to get back up there and try to duke it out again with the number three now here's Mayfield to the inside on Earnhardt this is for four. Oh, Mayfield comes off wiggles just a little bit Earnhardt gets about a half a car length lead now Mayfield comes in this tunnel turn with the advantage on the bottom side Gordon comes with him. Whoa. And he slips through. Yeah, Earnhardt, <laughs> Earnhardt lets him go. Excuse me? Yeah. yeah. Pardon me, boys. Is this the Chattanooga choo-choo? <laughs> I think I'll hop on board. Oh, that was a smart move by Gordon. That was a good, clean way to get by Earnhardt. Kyle Petty's number 44 on pit road, running in 20th position. The Hot Wheels car. Dale Jarrett's number 88. You see it there in second spot in Ward Burton with that X-side, number 99, right in there, steaming into turn one. You know, you talk about concentration in sport. To be up at these high speeds for four hours, and you're cooking in that car, what, 135, 140 degrees in there, and not much circulation. There's not much in the way of air conditioning in here, folks. Well, they made the car so streamlined now that a lot of air does not go even even on the side that you don't have a wind in. The right side's in case. You don't get any air on the right side. And the left side, just the driver's side, uh, window is open. 